Hi students, what's up? This is Onkal Chaudhuri. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to discuss some important question answer based on SN1 and SN2 reaction. I have already discussed the detailed concept regarding SN1 and SN2 one of my video. In this video, we will see that how can we apply or how can I predict that when SN1 will open, when SN2 will open? Yeah, so without wasting time, let's start. We have a question here that we have to arrange them in order according to their SN1 reactivity order. One example is tertiary butyl chloride, say for example. Another one is benzyl chloride. And another example is ethyl chloride. And the question is given, we have to arrange them according to their increasing order of SN1 reaction. So how can we solve this? Remember, SN1 reaction means formation of carbocation is the first step and that is the important step, that is rate determining step. Clear? I have already explained in my another video. If you haven't watched it, please have a look at that. Clear? So here, if in this case, carbocation is formed, then you will get 3 degree carbocation, 3 degree. In this case, if carbocation is formed after elimination of chlorine, then it will form 1 degree carbocation. And it is also forming 1 degree carbocation, isn't it? So, 3 degree carbocation is more stable than 2 degree than 1 degree. Already we know that. But if the carbocation is 1 degree and then resonance support is there, resonance support. What is mean by resonance? Delocalization of pi electron cloud. Here the delocalization of benzene ring takes place and can support the carbocation. But here, no such type of resonance is observed. Okay? So, if the carbocation is primary, then we have to see that where resonance is taking place or not. Agar resonance hoga, to wo carbocation ka stability 3 degree se bhi zada hoga. Agar 3 degree mein resonance nahi so, this carbocation is most stable among these three. So, here benzyl chloride will give SN1 fastest rate, then tertiary butyl chloride, and then ethyl chloride. Because this carbocation is 1 degree. Only one plus I effect support is there, no resonance support is there, so that's why it is least stable, it is most stable, and it will be in between them. Got it? Clear? So let's start. Next question the compound is given CH3CH2I, CH3CH2Br. CH3CH2Cl. Okay? And we have to arrange them according to their increasing, decreasing order of SN2 reaction. The question is given decreasing order of SN2 reaction. So, SN2, what is happening? Already I have explained SN2 means no carbocation formation. 
because the nucleophile is strong before the formation of carbocation it will attack the substrate so we have to find out here the substrate portion is common but living group is different here living group is chlorine here living group is bromine here living group is iodine so good living group will be substituted first term so in this case carbon you know valence electron 2p iodine 5p carbon 2p bromine 4p carbon 2p chlorine 3p so 2p 3p overlap is much more stronger than 2p 4p and much more stronger than 2p 5p so this is weak bonding and that's why iodine is good living group am i clear so here sn2 takes place in a fastest rate among these three that's why rate of sn2 will be like that good living group that means it will respond more and more in sn2 reaction okay we have our next question that is koh is given and the solvent say for example dmf dmf dimethyl formamide it is polar acrotic solvent which can solvent the cationic part not the anionic part already i have discussed the difference between polar acrotic and polar acrotic in the basic concept of sn1 sn2 okay already it is discussed so now we have to find out what will be the product so as chlorine is above the plane chlorine is present in above the plane and polar acrotic solvent favors sn2 polar acrotic solvent favors sn1 polar acrotic solvent favors sn2 because carbocation formation is not going to happen just the nucleophile will attack and inversion will be taken place so in this case you will have the product that is oh will attack but obviously in the opposite side as the chlorine is present in above the plane so oh minus or nucleophile will occupy from opposite side below the plane so that would be our product okay how can we find out because it is polar acrotic solvent find it not down polar acrotic solvent favors sn1 and polar acrotic solvent favors sn2 next question we have that is in this case ethyl chloride and this is vinyl chloride you know pvc polyvinyl chloride that is the polymer of vinyl chloride ethyl chloride and vinyl chloride is given and the question is which one will have greater ccl bond length which one will have greater ccl bond length this is also related to this concepts look at that in this case resonance can take part resonance can take part so that's why now the structure becomes isn't it now the structure becomes like that so ccl bond gets double bond character look at that ccl bond gets double bond character but in this case ccl bond remains single bond because there is no scope of resonance so you know 
I have taught you in chemical bonding part, MO part, that as the number of bonds increases, bond length decreases. Because bond order is directly proportional to bond energy and bond order is inversely proportional to bond length. So in this case bond order double bond, in this case bond order single bond. So which one will have high, longer bond length? This will. CCL will have ethyl chloride will have higher bond length than phenyl chloride. Because bond order and bond length they are inversely proportional to each other. It is single bonded, it is double bonded, so it will have higher bond length. Let's start next question. Next question is given between these two, which one will have higher rate of SN1? Why it is here? Because this carbocation is sp2 hybridized after elimination of this chlorine. So this carbocation is very much unstable. SN1 goes via formation of carbocation. I repeatedly said that formation of carbocation. And in this case, obviously, this is 3 degree. But this carbocation is very much unstable. Okay. And not only that, in this case, already you know that resonance can take place. So, the substitution of Cl atom is not going to be easy. Substitution of Cl atom is not easy in this case. So, that's why rate of SN1, obviously, tertiary butyl chloride will have higher rate of SN1 than phenyl chloride. I hope you got it. Next question is given. Between this compound, this compound and 2 chloropropen, 2 chloropropen, 3 chloropropanin and 2 chloropropen. Which one is going to give SN1 in a faster way? SN1 again. So in this case, if this chlorine eliminated, then 2 degree carbocation will be formed as it is attached with 2 carbon atoms. But in this case, if chlorine is eliminated, then only 1 degree carbocation is formed. But you can see there is resonance support which is totally absent in this case. So that's why rate of SN1, this compound will be much higher than 2 chloropropane. Am I clear? I have told you earlier that if the carbocation is primary but resonance stability is there, then obviously rate of SN1 would be higher. Got it? Next question we have. We have our next question that, say for example here, KOH is given and H2 is also there and KOH is given, say for example, DMF is there or methyl cyanide is there, polar aprotic solvent, then which type of product you will get? It is very very important, it has come several times in exam. Okay, so here we know that carbocation stability order is this one, 3 degree highest, 1 degree is lowest and 2 degree is intermediate part. So 2 degree carbocation may give SN1, may give SN2. That depends on nucleophile. Here the solvent is H2, polar protein. So in this case, formation of carbocation is favorable. 
and here the solvent is polar aprotic. So in this case, SN2 backside attack is favorable. Apply your concept. So that's why here. Inversion may also take place as the living group is above the plane, the nucleophile may come from the opposite side and retention may also take place because you know this carbocation, if this compound form carbocation, then this carbocation is also stable through resonance ok so in this case depending on solvent the reaction is going to happen whether it is SN1 or whether it will be SN2 so in this case what is going SN1 is performed so we have got retention we have got inversion so racemization takes place already it is the salient features i have told you in my sn1 sn2 video theory part conception part okay but in this case before the formation of carbocation the oh minus will attack as the solvent is polar aprotic so in this case sn2 is going to take place and that's why only you will get OH minus in the in below the plane as the living group is above the plane. Okay. So this type of questions are not enough, but this type of questions may come in your exam. We have to clear our idea that when SN1 is going to happen when SN2 is going to happen. Write down SN1, if carbocation is stable, then SN1 will be favored. If the nucleophile is weak, then SN1 is favored. And if solvent is polar, polar protein like water, then also SN1 is favored. That's why racemization will take place, retention and both inversion. But in this case, KOH is strong nucleophile, because of this polar aprotic solvent, so SN2 will be favored when the substrate is having small size. Number two, nucleophile will be strong and solvent would be polar aprotic. Okay, so I hope if you watch this video till the end, then you will not have any problem regarding SN1, SN2 product prediction. So, more question answer videos I will upload obviously. For that, please keep watching, keep learning. Thank you. Have a nice day.